Okay, what's up guys? So today what I wanted to talk about is how do you obtain the mini Sierras? I kind of touched on this in my last video where I talked about the Sierra event uh, in addition to MSL's happy birthday and um, also the, the new light dark contract teaser that we may be getting. But I really wanted to be a little more specific for players who are looking to obtain the, the, the mini Sierras and highlight the ways MSL has um, built this into the game for us. So as you know, uh, if you click, if you're on the home screen, you will see in the top right, the Sierra's Blessing Limited. And that's going to take you to Sierra's Blessing where you can actually spend astrogens to purchase the Sierra. And as you can see, if you, if you purchase three, you'll end up getting the highlight dark egg. If you purchase five, um, you'll get a clean egg. Now, whether you feel like that is, you know, this package is actually worth however many number of astrogems you want to, you're, you're thinking about spending, that's really up to you. They've made Sierra farmable, but you know, if you're kind of not hit, if you, if by the end of the event you don't have enough, maybe this is something you're, you may want to consider. Um, but of course, buying is one of uh, the things that MSL, of course, has introduced into the game uh, as a way to obtain Light Sierra. And the other way is, um, so we can actually, we can, we, we can actually summon uh, the Sierra. Let's see if we can find her soul stones here. So yeah, there she is. So they've introduced the Sierra dungeons into MSL. And so what we can do is we can actually, um, as we farm, we can actually kind of get the, the, the dungeons. So as you can see here, um, you know, you can, we can farm. So as you farm, the Sierra may... The Sierra may pop up as a dungeon and you just run the dungeons and you will get her you know a random number of her soul stones and you can stock up on that uh, to summon in the future now the, these dungeons are do seem to be extremely rare they're much they're far rarer than uh, the anything else that I think we've seen in the past their drop rate it is extremely low I feel like um, my box is uh, full of nothing but pebbles mostly but they're they've introduced these summon stones to supplement um, our our capture rate which is the third way of obtaining the light sierra so you can go into any one of the continents and any area in the continents and uh, she will pop up now they have stated that the sierra will show up as a um, her drop rate is that of a legendary so it is going to be extremely rare but that's why the summon stones are important uh, in the past um, we've had monsters where the drop rate was likely close to to was likely that of the legendaries or very close to the legendaries and we had no other way of actually obtaining that the monster if you did if you were not able to capture it during the event and um, I think an example of that would be, I think it was Dark Jack and Light Snowy. It, they, their drop rates were extremely low. I, I'm not sure if it was exactly the legendary, but I do know that it was really hard for players to, to, to get those two monsters. Um, whereas their, their other elemental counterpart, they would show up um, much more frequently. There are people who I think missed out on the Light Snowy, who missed out on the Dark Jack when they were first introduced. Yeah. Um, and the other way to kind of get some Sierra summons, um, so this is not a full summon, but as you can see, we have a new event, the It's Okay to Fail one with Mini Sierra. And the so as you complete this event, we actually will get the the mini or the the mini Sierra soul stones. So make sure you 
are mindful of this, of trying to, to accumulate enough points and completing this event. And then, so guys, the next way to um, get your Light Sierra is going to be if you go to your home screen and you go down and you click the shop button, um, it's going to take you to uh, the page where um, you can kind of make a few different purchases. Next you want to kind of click the um, crystals uh, tab at the, at the very top and as you can see we've got a few new items that are purchasable with gold and one of them is a um, full light sierra so this is not a summon stone and it's only uh, 365 gold which is you know very which is really nice because every player in the game can afford that so everyone will at least be able to get one sierra um, by just purchasing it with 365 gold um, also, this is just a side, but as you can see, we've got these other um, gold items that they've added. Um, this is really nice because we don't actually have to convert to astrogens, and I'm pretty sure, you know, 433 did this on purpose so that everyone in the game has the opportunity to um, purchase some really nice items um, during their birthday event. Uh, but yeah, so that's another way to get Light Sierra. We've got these other packages, um, which, you know, are purchasable with gold. And, um, now I went ahead and summoned my Sierra for the video, but you might want to wait closer to the end. Um, just don't forget. And, and that's in, if you want to kind of conserve some, some space while you're doing your catch events. Um, because space will, you know, fill up fairly quickly as you're running story maps. But yeah, so, um, that is another way to obtain Light Sierra. And the last way we're going to talk about on how to get Mini Sierra is the Dark's Mini Sierra. Now for this, you're going to have to get, it looks like, two Evo 2 Light Sierras. In order to summon the dark one and everyone only has the opportunity to obtain one dark one so guys what I really want to say is farm 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 you need to get it try and get as many of these Sierras as you can because you're going to have to turn two of them into um, into Evo 2's to in order to fuse the mini in order to fuse the dark one and you're going to want to stock up on enough so that you can Evo 3 at least one of these um, it's going to be an extreme farming event and even though we have multiple ways to obtain the Sierra um, getting both of them to Evo 3 may be a, it may be a challenge for some people so you know farm as much as you can guys the last thing I wanted to talk about is how do you farm the mini Sierras efficiently and now farming exotic monsters, the key to the key to efficiency is really time. So the faster you're able to farm, the more likely the more runs you're getting in and the more like the more chances you have of the mini Sierras, the exotic monsters popping up. So it's really about speed. Um, because it gives you more opportunities to obtain the Light Sierra. And the best place to farm is always going to be, to do this, is always going to be on Extreme Mode. If you can farm Extreme Mode at a, at a fairly good time. And generally a fairly good time is about a minute or less. Um, so like if you're farming at a minute, if you're doing 20 runs, you're going to be doing those in 20 minutes. That's 20 chances to have a light doing that at a minute 30 you can what double that um, so you know the thing is you want to farm very quickly and experienced players they're going to be farming at you know less than a minute but yeah so for newer players you know you really have to think about what and you might want to consider farming normal um, it, the problem with farming normal or hard mode losing so it's like if you're farming extreme mode every run you not only have a chance of obtaining a um, chance at obtaining dragon sigils you know to go into the dragon dungeons and get some of the in-game gems 
So, you know, that's why extreme mode is, is the better choice to farm if you can do the times. But if you cannot, and also you earn a little bit more gold. So, uh, I've really been enjoying making these videos. I hope it's helping the MSL community and helping new players. Um, and it would be great if you like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I really appreciate those. So, thank you guys, and I will see you in the next video.